In this video I'm going to show you a technique to create some of these rather retro sounding game sound effects and I'm mainly thinking of Super Mario style sound effects and for this style you're most likely going to stick to very basic waveforms so in Whitehall the basic shapes wavetable is pretty good. For most of these sounds you will probably use a sine wave or a square wave. And so to quickly show you the basic idea we can draw in a few MIDI notes and we can go for something like this as an example and you will probably see where this kind of sound is going and this pretty much is already the basic idea that a lot of these sound effects are made with very simple waveforms without a lot of modulation or without any modulation at all and instead you're just using different notes very often played in a very quick succession so you can either just do this with midi notes and just draw in stuff here or you can use the synthesizer a bit more and make use of the LFOs here so I want to do that we can just use LFO1 and map this to the global voice transpose here and now to recreate what we did here in the MIDI clip, we can draw in a shape like this. Also set this to envelope mode here. And the amount of the voice transpose will be five semitones for now, because we want to imitate this here. And then you will most likely have to increase the tempo. And now this LFO can be used to create all kinds of different shapes for this. But before we try out some other stuff here, I want to use another LFO and put this on a level of this. You could also use the master envelope here. I just prefer using LFOs. Master envelope is going to be a bit more convenient if you start using multiple oscillators. But if you're just using one, it doesn't really matter. And I just prefer the flexibility of the LFO here. So we can set this to envelope mode as well. And with this, we are just going to shape the overall volume curve of this sound as you would just with uh, a master envelope. So with this you can easily adjust how long you want the sound to fade out. But let's head back to LFO1. So if we want to create a bit more interesting sounds here, it makes sense to increase the grid here. So for instance we can just use this grid and then also activate the drawing mode here, which is another interesting feature. I just set this to step and now we can draw in like this. And so now the main thing is to come up with interesting shapes that might lead to interesting effects. If you try something like this. And of course you can always go back here to voice transpose and increase the amount here. We are only using five semitones for now, but you can obviously just change this. You can also put this in the negative, which gives another style of effects. So essentially you want to keep in mind to modulate the amount of the voice transpose and also the tempo here or the tempo of your DAW which obviously also affects this. And you could also increase the grid even further and then just keep on drawing more different shapes in there. With this technique you should be able to also recreate a lot of the sound effects that you probably like from, from these games. You just have to figure out essentially the notes of the sound effect more so than any, any processing or whatsoever. So as you can see with this technique you can very easily create sound effects in that certain style without using any processing whatsoever. I would just maybe recommend to use a low pass filter just to cut some of the highs. If you're using these kinds of waveforms and in very high pitches then the higher frequencies can become a bit overbearing so you might want to keep that in mind but other than that there is not really that much processing needed for this. So I hope this helps you and inspires you to just experiment with this and create your own retro style sounding sound effects.